Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be going over this little piece of hardware that I received from Keystone. It's the Keystone Pro and it's a crypto hardware wallet. I do own quite a few hardware wallets. I'm always testing them just like Keystone sent me this one to test and give my opinion on. And to be honest with you, so far I've been using this uh, Keystone wallet for about three months. I was actually just in Europe for a couple months brought it with me to just check out the ins and outs and its features. And I have to say that it has been the easiest hardware wallet that I've utilized so far. With this overview on this Keystone Pro wallet, I am not going to get into the setup process. There is a setup guide on the Keystone website that I think is super simple. And all you have to do is follow along step by step and you'll be set up in no time. One thing that caught my eye right from the beginning with this Keystone Pro is that it fully integrates with MetaMask. And MetaMask, if you're not familiar with it, is another wallet that many of us use on a daily basis to perform various transactions, logging into Web3 websites. So it's something that's being utilized continuously and with other hardware wallets. The desktop version was integrated uh, or via web or your web browser was integrated but when it came to mobile there was no metamask option and with the keystone pro it does fully integrate with the metamask mobile version this keystone wallet is fully air gapped what that means is that there is no bluetooth wi-fi or cable connectivity needed in order to utilize this wallet, which once again adds that much more credibility because the less things that you need to connect to it, the less channels that you open up like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, the safer and more protected that your crypto is going to be in a hardware wallet. Now, if you're not familiar with hardware wallets, there are a few choices on the market. There are apps, which are basically a software wallet. There are also exchanges, uh, just like banks, that'll store your crypto for you and hold on to it. And then there are hardware wallets. When it comes to apps and software wallets, there is an issue. They connect online. And just like anything that connects to the internet and online, they are prone to being hacked. And when it comes to exchanges, all you have to do is do a couple of Google searches and you will see just uh, probably in today's news, that there are exchanges being hacked all the time. They also go bankrupt. And what ends up happening with you is that you no longer have access to your assets. Now, when you do utilize a hardware wallet, you control your assets, you control your crypto, and you take that responsibility on giving you full control of your assets. When it comes to performing firmware updates on this Keystone Pro, you will need an SD card. It doesn't come with an SD card, but you probably have one laying around anyway. And you're going to utilize a computer or a tablet and be able to download your firmware onto that SD card and then insert the SD card into your Keystone. Once again, you might feel that it's a bit of a pain going through that extra step, but the fact that I'm getting that air gapped added security, I don't mind that step. It has a touch screen and it operates very similar to what your smartphone does. The Keystone Pro comes with a couple battery options. You can actually use the spare case here that has four AAA batteries, the rechargeable battery that also comes with it. So great for options if this battery ends up dying while you're on the road, such as the trip that I just took in Europe. I know that as long as I have four AAA batteries, I will still have access to my hardware wallet. As Web3 keeps on developing, there are more and more websites that are utilizing a wallet in order for you to provide your credentials. So instead of a username and password, you're using a wallet in order to log in and access the information and these accounts in the Web3 environment. So a hardware wallet is something that's going to become more and more mainstream as it becomes relatively a requirement for Web3. For charging purposes, you will have to remove the battery. As you can tell, there's this nice magnetic, just goes right into place, easily lifts off, and you utilize included USB-C cable in order to recharge your lithium battery that comes with the Keystone Pro. Also, uh, note about this USB cable. This battery is very finicky, 
and so far from all of my chargers, it only works with this cable that comes included with the Keystone Pro in the box. As I mentioned, this Keystone Pro does come with a four inch touchscreen. Easy to see, easy to use, very intuitive. Now, if you are used to holding your crypto and assets in an exchange, uh, certain things you didn't have to worry about, such as a seed phrase. A seed phrase is basically a 12 or 24 word or passcode that you will need in order to access that wallet. When it comes to the added security of you basically being your own bank and managing your own assets, it is your full responsibility to have a backup of these 24 words or your seed phrase. When it comes to hardware wallets, that is certainly a must. What Keystone does is it does provide three sheets of paper that you can go ahead and write your 24 words down, your seed phrase, as you go ahead and configure and set up your wallet. It'll prompt you for that and you're gonna go ahead and write them down. What I want you to keep in mind is that this is a piece of paper. It's not waterproof, it's not fireproof. So you wanna be sure that you transfer these 24 words off of a piece of paper and put it into some sort of seed backup, making it, at the very least, waterproof and fireproof. Keystone itself has its own seed backup. Just keep in mind that the seed backup is sold separately. But there are many other choices in the market. But the point that I really need to get across here is if you lose those 24 words, you will lose complete access to your crypto. So be sure to guard those 24 words as if your crypto depended on it. Because guess what? It does. I mentioned earlier that it's fully ear-gapped, so it doesn't connect via Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or even USB cable. So everything is fully offline, which is really what you want when it comes to a crypto hardware wallet. The Keystone also comes with an app that is available for Apple as well as Android. The app allows you for further configuration, and of course, you will need to approve the transactions on your hardware wallet. I found that the app is very intuitive, super easy to use, and I'm sure that you'll have no trouble whatsoever being able to utilize the app with this Keystone Pro to perform your crypto transactions. So I might ask, okay, well, if you're not using Bluetooth, you're not using Wi-Fi, you're not using a USB cable, how the heck are you performing transactions? This Keystone Pro has a built-in camera. And with this camera, you're able to scan QR codes in order to perform and confirm your transactions. The security chip that is in this Keystone Pro is an EAL5 Plus SE, which ensures top security while it's storing your seed phrase. The firmware and software utilized by this Keystone Pro fully open source. And currently there are over 5,500 cryptocurrencies, 200 plus blockchains, and 25 plus wallets that work with this Keystone Pro. Now there are a couple options with this Keystone Pro when it comes to your assets. You can configure it to be BTC or Bitcoin only. So only Bitcoin would be stored in this hardware wallet, or you can also opt for multi-token so that you could have your Bitcoin as well as a plethora of other tokens. As I mentioned, this Keystone Pro is intuitive. And by being intuitive, you are less prone to make errors and mistakes, which could be costly while performing your crypto transactions. Now, another great feature about this Keystone Pro that I really like and just kind of puts it another level is that you can log in and perform transactions just by using the fingerprint scanner that's here on the back. So you have the camera on top and you have the fingerprint scanner right below it. During the setup process, you'll be able to configure it. It'll have you tap away and you'll have that set up in no time. You can also use multiple fingers. You can also use a standard passcode and there's also a pattern option. Before I actually got this keystone, I'm constantly just flickering back and forth and tiny little screens and trying to configure eight different numbers and bouncing around. And then I'll leave my wallet stagnant for a couple minutes and by the time I need to do another transaction or log in to a Web3 website, I have to repeat that process all over again. Now, if you're just doing it once in a while, no big deal, but when you're on there all day, 
just makes this Keystone Pro a cut above the rest. Another word of advice, be sure to pick up your hardware wallet, in this case, this Keystone Pro, from a credible source. And basically the manufacturer's website is the most credible source that you can go ahead and purchase from. And when you do purchase from Keystone, it is fully sealed. There are tamper resistant tags on it. And even during your setup process, you're going to be prompted in order to scan a QR code that'll tell you if this device is genuine and if it is good to go. I do have my affiliate link posted in the description. If you wanna go ahead and utilize that, greatly appreciated. And you know that you will be ensuring that you are getting a credible hardware wallet. There is a self-destruct mechanism in this Keystone Pro wallet. So if somebody tries to tamper with it, remove the screen, anything to try to hack the chips that are inside, this Keystone Pro will self-destruct, basically making it useless to anybody that tries to get inside of this. So excellent little feature, self-destruct, James Bond type stuff. Now the other cool thing is this does support NFTs and the fact that it has this four inch screen. You have a great device here in order to gain access and enjoy as well as interact with your NFTs. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a crypto hardware wallet, and if you don't own a crypto hardware wallet and have crypto assets, I strongly suggest that you hop on board and get a crypto hardware wallet. And if you're looking for one that's for that everyday user, tons of bells and whistles that I had gone over, look no further than this Keystone Pro.